This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen End of the Road, a new road thriller from Millicent Shelton. It follows the recently widowed Brenda, her two children, and her brother Reggie, as they all move out from California to Texas. Interstate construction leads them on a detour through unsafe parts of Arizona, which becomes a danger made all the more real when an overnight stop at a motel leaves the four as witnesses of a murder in the room next door. The situation worsens when a mysterious phone call accuses them of having stolen money from the room, which belongs to a criminal kingpin who will stop at nothing to get it back. However, the caller, and several others, underestimate Brenda's own tenacity and what she will do to protect her family. This is one of those thrillers which has a slow build-up, getting to the actual danger after maybe half an hour or so. Before that, it does more to build up Brenda and her family and their actual chemistry, which it does pretty well. The internal family conflicts are pretty simplified and their resolutions are a bit rushed, but it's not entirely awful or unrealistic. It's just a bit of filler to set up for the actual story the filmmakers wanted to get to, which is where things actually do feel a bit less realistic at times, though I assume that's more to do with making for a more exciting story. Once it hits the actual thriller plot, the tone becomes a bit more mixed, wavering at times between scenes of peril and helplessness, and somewhat goofy and exaggerated performances and situations, the latter taking away from the former and preventing you from really being able to feel like there's any real danger to be faced, given how blatantly the enemies are being painted. The general plotting is pretty basic, with nothing in here that would really surprise anybody who is paying attention to the story details. It generally aims to be a mid-stakes thriller, where there are dangers to be faced, but nothing too pressing, and it succeeds at that. That's pretty much the best way I can describe the story, honestly. It knows its place and it hits that mark pretty well. The other technical aspects of End of the Road are also pretty mid-tier, again never really aiming to be something impressive in the first place. At least that's how it seems. For the most part, everything production-wise works on a practical level that does enough to get the story moving or set up a location, but without being anything more interesting or creative. There's some decent cinematography at least, though it too shifts between being something sweeping and looking too much like it was filmed on a set piece that was just lying around a studio backlot. On a similar note, the soundtrack likes to shift between licensed songs and what's probably stock music. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it just kind of feels a bit lazy to me. The only sign of some creative style, though it might be a stretch to call it that, is the use of pink and purple lighting in nighttime scenes. They shine from indiscernible sources and flood whatever might be in the shot with highly saturated colors but it doesn't have the kind of effect that I want to say that the filmmakers had in mind. Assuming that they were hoping to make something that looked like a comic book or maybe like a 70s or 80s drive-in movie. If the whole film had this sort of hyper-saturated art style, that sort of homage might have come through more clearly, but as it is, the end result is, again, middle road. That's not a bad thing at all, especially if you're just looking for something to get you through 90 minutes or so. 
but to me it just shows the missed potential for not only something more stylized, but possibly something that could have been more serious in tone. It really could have gone one way or the other here. End of the Road Millicent Shelton, 2022 Two and a half stars. I wouldn't say not to watch it, but it's also not something that you'd need to look out for. And that's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. It's honestly kind of a shame that this movie is where it is in my book. It's like it's missing just one little detail that would really bring it up to something like a guilty pleasure or a sleeper hit.